Hey guys, it's Chris Cross from DartLaster.de. Thanks for clicking this video. I've got another Blaster tool review, and this time it's the Nerf Rebel Agents and Spice uh, Agent Bow. No secrets in Spice Agent Bow. That way, it's a bow that's uh, driven by a rubber string. You no know, position to the normal Nerf bows that are um, basically plunger driven. Um, the other thing is that it doesn't shoot foam darts, it shoots arrows which have a foam tip, which uh, scream very loudly uh, in flight. And um, I have a pretty high opinion on these arrows because they do fly very accurately. Um, Blaster claims ranges of up to 85 feet, which I think is pretty accurate when uh, angled upwards. Um, I think you can uh, expect ranges of uh, 70 feet when you're shooting parallel, parallel to ground. Difficult word. Um, I actually do like the bow very much, apart from a little flaw uh, that I'm coming to later. When painted black, it's going to be a very good uh, prop for um, Crisis cosplay, especially when you have the arrow holder attached to the blaster like this. You can also remove it and uh, clip it on your belt. The other aspect that uh, makes it a good uh, crisis cosplay prop is uh, hidden in this uh, little blue tinted window, plastic window. If you push this trigger, um, a red dot appears inside this window and it seems quite dark from uh, this angle, but uh, in brighter uh, environments you can see through the blue tinted window quite well. So this is probably one of the reasons why this uh, subline I would say um, is called Secrets in Spice. Uh, it's a little technical gimmicky stuff. Um, well this red dot is one part. The other part is um, on the I had problems in the German uh, review already calling these uh, wings anything. I think they are called fletches, but please do not uh, pin me down on this. Um, on these, um, whatever you want to call them, um, are secret messengers that uh, you can uh, make visible with this uh, window screen. Um, however, you actually do not need this window to um, to read this uh, the secret message. Um, it's actually quite visible just with a normal eye. And also, these messages are not so original as you might wish. I would have preferred um, an area that you could uh, write on yourself, and uh, that would make it very much more um, practical and uh, would add much more gameplay than just uh, these three um, messages. There's one point of critique that I must mention this bow is really uh, a diva when you want to fire it. Um, the way that is, it is built and the way that you load and fire this blaster is very complicated. Um, you pull, put the, the arrow in like that and then you pull on the bowstring until the head of the arrow reaches this point and when you release the bowstring you have to be very careful that the bowstring passes through both of these um, parts of the shell. Otherwise, um, if you tilt or angle the bowstring like that, it will uh, hit these two parts of the shell and then the arrow will just uh, pop out like four or five feet before the blaster. So this bow really takes a lot of practice and still then I doubt if you um, are able to manage to use the blaster in a Nerf War environment because uh, then under panic you will probably just uh, forget what you practice at home. Um, I do like the arrows apart from the fact that um, they seem to be prone to uh, heavy wear on the fletches. This is not anything that uh, hot 
glue can't solve, but uh, it would have been better if the um, the rod of the arrow just had been um, cut and the these wings were put into the cut, so that would have been much um, more uh, stable or robust, whatever you call it. Um, they wouldn't break that easily, break off that easily. Um, this wear is um, probably caused by all the misfires when uh, the arrow um, hits part of the, the inner shell. So this is the Nerf Rebel Secrets and Spice Agent Bow. Um, maybe a quick guess on how this is moldable. Simply take the string and make some coils here and on the other side. And uh, maybe this uh, will probably already increase the ranges. I don't know. No. Um, just a guess. Um, well, it's actually a start, I would say, to um, this concept that I think is new to enough with the bowstring or this um, Zing Air toy bows um, concept. Um, good start, I would say. Um, the arrows are good. The wear is, I think, repairable, but please improve them and uh, improve the, the shape of the bow so you can uh, fire the bow more uh, reliably. Um, that's all about it. A great um, cosplay prop for all um, Crisis cosplayers. That's all I have to say about the new Nerf Rebel bow. Um, thanks for watching. Drop me a line on Facebook or here on YouTube. Um, I'm your Chris Cross from Germany, Thanks for watching. See you later.